Hi guys, I am back and today I have a clothing haul for you. Yes, it will be try on for the parts that I am willing to try on on YouTube, but there are some like bras and underwear in here that I will not be trying on, but I have like a good handful of things. It is a coll collective haul, so it's from a bunch of different places at a bunch of different times, but I'm going to go ahead and get started because I do kind of have a lot. Um, so the first thing I have here is from Charlotte Russe. It is from the straight size section Charlotte Russe. Now let me go on a little rant for a second. I have three three Charlotte Russes in my area at three different malls and I believe two of them used to carry the plus size Charlotte Russe line in store and now none of them do. It is so incredibly frustrating to me that they just like took it away like everybody else I know on YouTube has a plus size Charlotte Russe in their area and I don't which is so annoying to me but yeah this is straight size so it isn't a size extra large it is just a crop top that's a white background and then it has like this like rose pattern I believe the roses I'm not really sure um and it has like these crisscross details in the back I love this shirt it looks so good against like tanned skin um and it goes good with like my blonde hair although I'm sure it goes good with any hair color duh um but I just love this crop top and it was originally $12 on sale for six so it was a really really good deal um but you'll see it better in the try on portion of the haul and that's all I got from Charlotte Russe um because like I said I can't really buy a lot there <laughs> and then I have just one thing from American Eagle as well um this is another crop top um and again American Eagle is a mostly a straight size store like they go up to a size 2x but only online so they only go up to an extra large in store um, but this actually is only a large so it is from their soft and sexy line it's like the ribbed crop top and it is a size large but it's like this maroon and like peach like burnout almost tie-dye pattern I'm not really sure exactly like what it is and it is that ribbed texture so it is super super stretchy um, but it is a crop top it just looks like this and it does have like that lace up detail all the way down so like you can and it ties at the bottom so like this tie kind of like hangs on your stomach um but you can like see your cleavage through here you can see your stomach which I think is really sexy and this fits me so that I don't have to wear a bra which is perfect because I like the cleavage that you can see from like the tie up here and I don't want to have to like break it up with a bra line like going right through the center so I really like this um it's kind of festivally to me and I would definitely wear this to like a concert or like out um like if I was going to a bar or something I really like this little crop top it was $20 which I feel like is more expensive like than the Charlotte Russe one but it's still not like too expensive where I wouldn't spend money on it um I might wear this to the Halsey concert I'm going to but I really like this shirt so yeah that's the only thing I got from American Eagle and then I got one thing from forever 21 and it just is this dress oh it's backwards <laughs> this halter dress so these are the straps they're super like thin um, and it creates a high neck so it is like a true halter with this you'd either have to wear a strapless bra or like a bralette where you wouldn't care if the straps are kind of like um clashing with it so I wore this to my brother's graduation and I wore it with a black bralette so you can see the straps it was an okay look but I think I'd rather wear it with a strapless bra um but yeah it's just like this lavender dress background I love the color of this it's like almost like a pastel neon it's coming off more pastel on camera but it's almost like a pastel neon in person and it has these bright pops of like peach and pink and red and this blue is a little bit brighter in person as well oh my nails actually match almost perfectly hello anyway so yeah I bought this for my brother's graduation and I think it was like $15 like it is such a cute little dress and it's very stretchy it's just like a a jersey material and it's like a line so it's more fitted up to the top and then it just kind of flows down it is kind of short so like if you have like that issue you may not want to buy it um but it's just really like just a really cute overall little like summer dress so you'll see this on my body also on the try on portion um but yeah I really liked it it was super inexpensive and that's the other I mean sorry that's the only thing I got from forever I went to Torrid and I got one like actual clothing item, item from Torrid because I had to use my hot cat and you can only buy like clothing items that aren't on sale so I wanted to get underwear from there but they're already like buy three get two free or something like that so you can't use the hot cash on it which is annoying as fuck but whatever so I bought these shorts and I honestly don't know if I want to keep them or not um 
I don't know. Like, I just feel like they're a lot of fabric. You'll see in the try-on, I, like, explain where I feel like there's a lot of fabric in them. But they're just, like, this paisley pattern, like, really, like, flowy um, short. They do have, like, a liner. So there's, like, these this black liner in here. Um, I honestly like how they feel. Like, they're really comfortable. And they come up, like, high-waisted. So I can definitely wear crop tops with them. Um... And they have pockets, and they also are really easy to walk in. Like, I don't think they ride up at all, which is nice. But they were originally $38, and I paid um, around $25 for them, because I think I got, like, $15 of the hot cash came off of these. Um, but I just don't know if I want to keep them, because I just don't know if they're entirely flattering on me, or maybe they're just not used to what I'm wearing. I'm not used to wearing these, so I just don't know. But let me know in the try-on portion if you guys think I should keep them or return them. Um, I might return them. I'm not entirely sure. I wore them, I had them on earlier, and I had them on for, like, a good 10 minutes, and I was just, like, walking around, walking in front of the mirror just seeing how I like them sitting down in them and I'm just like so torn like I don't know I just don't know if it's like a uncomfortable fashion choice for me because I need to grow into them like fashion wise like it's something that I it's going to be new for me but it looks really good or if it's an uncomfortable fashion choice for me because they just don't look good on me I don't know how to explain that so let me know if you think I should keep So just for the sake of the try-on I actually have both the things on together but I would never wear them together I don't think um but here's the top from American Eagle and as you can see it just laces all the way down and like you can see your skin all the way down um and it is cropped and it kind of just has like a nice scoop neck in the back and a nice scoop neck in the front and like I said I am not wearing this with a bra just because I feel like it holds me in enough and it's like sexy to be able to see like a little bit of like cleavage or like side boob like from the side um and then these shorts the ones from Torrid that I don't really know if I'm gonna keep or not they come up high-waisted enough um, they're really nice and flowy, and like I said, they have the double lining. The thing is, I just don't know if I love the way they fit. Like, I feel like there's just too much fabric going on. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really, like, ugh, I don't know. I might return them. But I'd wear these shorts with, like, a black crop top or, um, like a black tank, like, tucked in or something. Um... Yeah, I just don't know. I like that they have pockets, but again, I just feel like it gives me too, like, just too much, um, too much, like, bulk. Like, bulk where I don't need it either, because, hello, we don't need bulk around our biggest parts of our bodies, but I don't know. But I love the top. So this is the dress from Forever 21, and it's just super cute and summery and girly, um, and I obviously would wear it with a strapless bra, so like you can kind of see like what the neckline would look like. It's just like a halter neck, um, and I just really like it. Like I wore this dress to my brother's graduation, and it just looked really, really cute, because it's just like kind of like dressy, but not too dressy, but yeah. I got a bralette because I'm obsessed with bralettes. Like, I hate wearing bras now. And also, this is one that I wouldn't wear as a crop top. Like, this is one I would only wear as a bralette. And also, I didn't realize this at first, but this is the Lovesick brand, which is kind of funny to me because Lovesick went on a business, so I guess they're just shipping their extra bralettes to Torrid. But it's just, like, a, like, traditional, like, triangle cup bralette. Oh, by the way, those shorts were in a size 2. Um, because I feel like some things in Torrid, like, it either runs really big or really small. Like, I can size up to a 3 or a 4 in some things. And then I tried on a romper there, and I got a 2, and it was too big on me, and I had to go into a 1. So, like, I don't get Torrid sizing. But this is a 3. I usually get my bralettes in a 2 or a 3. So, um... Yeah, this is, like, actually really good. It was $28 and then $10 off. I paid, like, $18 for it, which is really nice. But it just, like, holds the, your boobs in the right place. I like that the back of the straps are adjustable. Um, so you, I can, like, get more of a lift if I want to, which I really like about this. But, yeah, this isn't one that I would wear as a crop top just because it doesn't give me as much coverage as I usually like in crop tops. So this is, like, strictly a bralette, but I just love it. It's so sexy and cute, and it just looks good under so many things. I tried this on under a jump 
jumpsuit that Tord had, which I was so close to buying, but I just didn't like the color of it. It was like a forest green and like a, a deep green like tie-dye, and I just wasn't feeling the tie-dye. Like I'm not really a tie-dye person, but I love jumpsuits. Um, but yeah, that was too much explanation for a bralette from Tord. I like it. Got underwear from Tord, um, and these were not like I couldn't use my hot cash on them, so they were pretty expensive. It was 50 bucks for five pairs of underwear, so ten dollars a piece. I think is expensive, personal opinion, because if I use like sometimes I get underwear from pink those are like three dollars a piece or airy those are like four dollars a piece when you get them on sale so paying ten dollars a piece for underwear just isn't my jam but I this is like probably my favorite style of underwear this style right here where it's like all lace and they're like boy shorts and cheeky like this is my favorite style of underwear from Tord specifically they just fit so nicely so I actually got two pairs of this exact style I got it in a nude style and a black one but I already wore the black one um because I wanted to see how it fit and so yeah I have the the nude color and I have the black one but it's just so incredibly comfortable it gives you like zero penny lines they're just amazing. So I got a nude and a black just so I can wear black and nude and not have to worry about like the color being seen underneath certain under being seen underneath certain garments that I'm wearing. So there's the nude one. And then I also got it in like this um I would call this like a royal blue with like a hot pink like bow. Same style of underwear. I own so many of these already. Like I have uh, orange one, a coral one, another nude one that I already own. I have a different color blue. I have a pink. I have a black. Um, I think that's it, but I already own like a lot of these. It's my favorite. So getting three more pairs of my favorite kind of underwear is definitely a good thing. So I have that. And then I saw this and I just had to have it. Um, so it's just like this like microfiber like um, panty, which is not my favorite kind to wear. Like it's really full coverage, but it says sun's out, buns out. And it's this incredibly hot neon pink color. So I had to get it. Like if anything, this would be nice underwear to sleep in because if I can wear a t-shirt and I can wear this and just be hella cute. So I got those. And with, I usually get a three in all my underwear from Tori, but with these ones, for some reason, for them to fit comfortably, I have to get a four so like again just like weird sizing and if I get a thong from Tord I have to get a two so like I said their sizing just doesn't make sense to me I don't get it but I have that and then I saw this which was really interesting to me because let me give you like a little backstory I like to wear dresses and rompers and stuff like that but I also like my tummy to be controlled a little bit like if I just wear a regular thong or a regular pair of underwear there's no tummy control in that so I find that I find that I have to wear um like a pair of Spanx or something, just a tummy control. Well, I saw this, which is a high-waisted pair of underwear. So it comes up really high on me. Like, it comes up, like just below my boobs which is perfect and it's sexy so it's completely lace hot pink completely lace a little cheeky in the back but it's literally huge like this fits all the way up to under my boobs and it has a band that says torrid but whatever so i love this because i can get like spanks tummy control and cute underwear in one like I don't have to worry about panty lines because it's lace and cheeky but also i have tummy control so I don't have to wear Spanx. Like, it's, like, the best of both worlds. So I bought one. I really want another pair, but they're so freaking expensive. $19 for one pair of underwear. Like, are you kidding me? So I have this one pair, and I will cherish it forever. Um, but I did find something similar at Lane Bryant, which I'm going to show you in just a second, but it's not as sexy because it's not completely lace. So I'll show you that actually right now because that's the last thing I got from Tord. So then I went to Lane Bryant and they were having an underwear deal as well. I'm obsessed with underwear. I don't know if you guys already know that, but I'm literally obsessed. So they have their underwear on clearance five for $29, which is way cheaper than the Tord ones. And then they had a $10 off coupon. So I got five for, let's say, 20 bucks. Hello, that is such a good deal. That's comparable to what you'd pay at Pink or Airy, and it's so much cheaper than the Torrid ones. So I picked up a few pairs of underwear from Lane Bryant. So I found these in the clearance bin, which are underwear high. I must be a new thing because Airy has high waisted underwear now too. This is the high waist brief, and at Lane Bryant, I'm usually um, an 1820, but I got a 22, 24 in these just because they do come up so high, and I don't want them to be tight. But anyways, it's a high waist brief. It's cute color. 
but this is, again, the perfect combination between having to wear underwear and having to wear Spanx. So I can just wear this and not have to wear tummy control Spanx, and it literally makes my life so much easier. Now, again, it's not as sexy as the Torrid ones because it's not lace, but it is this microfiber material, so I am not going to get panty lines with this, hopefully. Um, and I did try them on, and they just really, they really do what I want them to do. So again, if you're looking for something like that, Definitely go to Lane Bryant because they're way cheaper than Torrid right now. And they're cute. Like, they're not ugly. Um, I mean, I did get a pair that's, like, kind of iffy. Like, this is the other high-waisted one I got. And it's completely nude. Like, this is kind of granny panty. It has, like, a weird design, whatever. But I got it because it is nude because I do have a few white dresses. I got this pair solely for function because I do have a few white dresses I'd wear this under. Or even that um, dress I just showed you from Forever 21, that dress is slightly see-through. Like, I had to wear nude underwear under that. So I would, this is more for function and less for sexiness. But still, I like the fact that I don't have to wear underwear and then a tummy control spank I can literally just wear this so that is super exciting to me so those three like the tour one and then those two are the only ones I got of that style um because then I also got this guy from Lane Bryant it's just like a hot pink or coral lace cheeky underwear like this is so cute I love this and then I got one thong. Again, I get my thongs in an 1820. Um, and this is just a like really turquoise neon pair of underwear with a lace back. I love the lace back thongs. And then lastly, I got this so soft microfiber pair. Like this is the softest pair of underwear I own. Um, and it is a cheeky, so it has like this ruching can you tell with from the pattern? Oh, here it is. It has this ruching. You're not, you can't really see because of the pattern, but you see how it's like kind of pinched right here. That's like to create like a really nice looking ass. Um, but I have the, I love this pattern and I love this so soft. Oh, if I can make pajamas out of this. So freaking soft. But anyways, yeah, it's just a pair of cheeky underwear. So that is everything I got. I hope you guys like this video. I will try on some of the clothing. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!